Hello. We're in Heaven's Ward now, you guys. Here we go. Heaven's Ward. So I'm all. Duty support. Let's get it. I'm running this as a healer. Um, I think this is the first time I'm going to be doing a guide as a healer. Because I'm running with duty support, I won't have to hide people's names. You know, I try to protect people's privacy and stuff. But since it's just NPCs, it's cool. Um, I actually do not like running stuff with the NPCs in these earlier ones because it's a bit slower than I'm used to. But if this is like your first time running it and you're nervous running it with other people, that's totally understandable. But yeah, it just will be a bit slower, um, especially if you're not uh, the tank. Because basically when you're running it with the NPCs, look at this, see? <laughs> I just pointed my screen, I have to use the mouse, okay. See, I'm the healer, but like they are following me wherever I'm going. You know, see, they're like, I'm like wandering around like that. So it makes it a little difficult because then I have to go pull the, the ads and stuff. Okay, see, so she went there, but like I had to run them up here. So she's not gonna proactively go gather the ads over there. So that's why it can be a little slow. Um, so I am running up and I'm grabbing the next things and I'm running it back towards Yasail um, so that she can take aggro from me, from these, these guys. Um, but it can be tricky business. See, I'll take some damage from it. So if you're running this and you are DPS, for example, and you do that, and whoever's healing you, Alphanol probably, or Yasail, whichever one of them, if they're not healing you well, uh, then then this can be very slow. It'll just do one small pack at a time. And yeah, so uh, you'll notice her health is going pretty low. Um, I'm, I'm an experienced healer. I got this. I'm, I'm alright. It's alright. Um, but if you are new to healing, I don't recommend letting it go too low. <laughs> Unless you want to just try getting better. But anyway, okay, this um, healer I'm playing also is called Astrologian. Um, it is a healer that you can pick up. It, it, it came out during Heaven's Word. And I believe you have to finish Heaven's Word to unlock it. I'm not sure, but it starts at level 30. Maybe you have to. Okay, we're just taking care of these. Um, these pollen clusters um, will give people poison if they're standing near it when it, it attack when it explodes. You just have to attack it once, so it's better to for a ranged person to hit it, and then other people won't get poisoned. You can't Asuna the poison for this. I tried a few times, um, but yeah. And then these Drake spurs, you need to destroy them for the wall to break. But also be careful with these pollen clusters, because once you hit them, you'll get some poison. Okay, so here we got pollen clusters, so you need to be careful not to get poison from them. We got the drake spur here, and there, there, I believe there's one over here too. So we have to take those down, and then also all these other little ads in the truck. Pull them over together. And see, I just did a little damage to the pollen cluster so that it can explode, so we don't have to deal with it. But as you can see, I got I got I got these ads on me, and she is just focusing on this. So that's why running it with the NPCs can be a little difficult. Like they don't pull things unless things are basically on them, so it can be a little difficult. Okay, 
still just working on these ads. Oh, hold up. Okay, I've looked it up. I wasn't just trying to leave you hanging here because we're just focusing on. See, we're still with the Drake's burn and all these ads pop up. Okay. Looks like you just have to have gotten to Heaven's Ward and unlocked the Ishgard area and you can unlock Astral Legion. So yeah. Great. So if you want to start Astral Legion or Dark Knight or Machinist, basically by the time I believe you get to this... Um, yeah, by the time you get to this dungeon you should have unlock fish guard. I'm looking things up on the side so I can give more information because straight up this is very slow because it just takes a long time to do the damage because I'm also pulling and doing all this stuff. Um, okay, okay, wait, 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 oh, focus, focus, focus. We're on the first boss now. Okay, so this boss is like a... It looks kind of like Bulbasaur but like, you know, older. But not a Venusaur. Maybe. Anyway, okay. So, she's facing the boss north because these little vine thingies will do like little cleaves and stuff. Okay, now it turns around. Acid rain. Look at this. We get these AoEs underneath everybody. So as soon as you see them pop, get out of them. Okay, and then Phyto Beam is a line AoE, so just dodge that. It'll target one person. Sweet scent. This one, I believe, yeah, the uh, has the ads here. We have an ad here, and there's another one around. So basically, these ads will move towards the boss, and when the boss doesn't move, um, called okay flower devour um you, you want to dodge this but also when eh, see when the boss is like trying to eat stuff if one of these hornets got into the space then it will the boss will get like a buff or something and do more damage yeah yeah if the boss is able to eat any of these hornets, then it will do more damage to the party. So. So. Um, and I believe this yellow thing is... Okay, see, it tried to like suck me in. And I also got stunned. So... And it's also facing me, so it looks like it will target... It will face that direction of the person and like suck them in, so maybe if it... If you're facing a hornet, like if a hornet was behind you and it did that, then it would draw the hornet into its mouth and then eat it or towards it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. <clears throat> so you don't want to feed the hornets to the boss. So that's basically just repeated mechanics here. Let me okay, devour. Okay, there's no hornets out, so we're good. I might not sound as enthusiastic as usual, which I already know isn't that enthusiastic, but like, yeah, just running it with the NPCs was really slowing me down, you know? 
Because I'm like, why am I in the front? I don't want to pull all this stuff. I'm a healer. Okay, there's definitely going to be people who are like, the tanks aren't the ones that control the pace and all these things. But I also don't want to get attacked that much if I'm not the tank, you know? I want to do my other jobs. But I have to go pull all this stuff just so that the dungeon goes a little bit faster. So, it feels painful to play it with the duty support. Um, so, I don't know. If I was just leveling stuff, like, I'd probably go with my squadron, which is a which is a similar thing, like you can have your squadron run dungeons with you, or I would just go with like random people, but yeah, if you're going for the first time, this is a very good way to just see all the mechanics at your own pace. Um, but my guides are already very long, and so I'm kind of like, okay, what can I really say here? We're just dealing damage. Dodge these AoEs and stuff. I gotta, I could talk a bit about Astro. Okay, so Astro, I've got these cards that I pass out to people, and they get little debuffs and stuff. Uh, not debuffs, sorry, buffs. So they like do more damage and things like that. I think I hover over some of them later. Um, but yeah, here I am leading the group again. There's dragon coming up. It'll, it'll do like a fire thingy or something. Oh, ice thing. <coughs> okay, watch out for these AoEs here. This big circular uh, thing, gravity, that's my uh, AoE move. My damage, my area of effect damage thingy. Um, this little star sign or exclamation thingy means that's like a vulnerability issue i believe like we're more vulnerable vulnerability up yeah um and you can see me kind of running around a lot and in and out of the i have to dodge the aoes from the bosses and stuff but i'm also moving in a certain way because um i have to cast things and so I have to like stand still to do that. But I also do this thing called slide casting where I'll stand in the AoE just a little bit longer than I think. Like see, I kind of stand and I wait. Like my cast doesn't fully go off, but I know that I can move at the end of the cast. So it looks like I'm still casting while I'm moving. That's the whole thing. I also have this thing called, I think it was light speed or something like that. This thing. Um, where I can cast things while running. I don't actually know the name of scarcity guys. This is why I don't make job guides. Or like, class guides. Yeah, so this little icon on some of them, that's my dot. My combust one. Um, it'll do damage over time. So as healer, I try to put my dot on everything. Uh, so I'm helping out with some damage while I'm also healing everybody up. And you'll also kind of notice I'm pretty comfortable with healing and so I don't keep everyone at full health all the time because I know how much, like I've played enough to know how much damage they'll take. So I'm comfortable leaving them a little bit lower. Uh, okay, but for this boss... Oh, did you see that? I gave him a card. This spire card. Okay, anyway. This boss is gonna have little, like, globes. Okay, here. Ooh, look. Look, yeah. Harmony of Spirit, restoring MP over time. So this is some move that I have that will give me more MP. Which is this one. Okay, dodge this cleave. Sinastri, this, is, this helps with healing stuff. Okay, see, I got a car and I'm gonna give it to him. Uh, 
Okay, so here we have like these little goobers. Okay, there's a red one and there's like a blue one down here. And then there's some other ones. There's another red one over here. Depending on which one, okay, this is a Spectre Helios regenerates over time. So this is like Medica too. Okay. The boss is gonna go eat one of these like jellos. Okay, so it ate a red one, and so that means we stack together. And th there will be markers on here. They've changed this. Before it was a little more difficult to understand what was happening. Okay, so here it ate the blue one. So that means one person gets an AoE, and so they just have to run away from everybody else. Before there used to be just something above your head, and there was no other indication as to what you're supposed to do. And it would make a lot of people fussy. But, but here that was pretty clear that we would stack together. Okay, so then it eats the last one, which is an AoE, so now we just stay away from that person. Light speed. Spell casting is like faster or something. Right? Well, casting time is reduced. Yeah, light speed. Primordial roar. Okay, so we get more of the goobs, the goobers. So there's a blue one, a red one, but now we also have this green one over here. And the green one's gonna do really big, like, proximity damage. And so we need to target the green one and um, take it down. Nice. Okay, so it's a blue one, so that means we have the someone with an AoE. They run it straight to me. Um, and then it, it's a red one, so we stack together. And here for the stack, I usually will do like my like everyone's health was like doing all right, um, but for for stacks, usually you'd want to use your AoE healing for that. So, for me, my AoE healing is Aspected Helios. Which we didn't need because we kept the boss. Okay, but yeah. That was that boss. For that one, really, you just have to keep track of whether you're going to stack or run away from the person with the AoE. So I pull all these back to my group. I pass out my cards and I give them this thing, divination. Um, and I do my gravity AoE on everybody on the on the ads and stuff. Something to note, when you're running stuff with the NPCs, some of them, like, if they don't have to move, they're not gonna move. Look at Alphamod over here. He's just parking it in the, in the corner, you know? So, if, for example, I'm a healer and I'm standing over here instead, like, my, if I do my AoE healing, you know, it might not reach him. So, so I try to make sure I know where everyone is. here so it's not cumbersome. Release. There'll be a few of these little dragon things that drop down. Um, okay, watch out for the AoE there. Okay, see, here we go, here's another one. Okay, did you see? 
there's wings dropping down. There's another one there. And then there's also another one here. Also, here's a front cleave. Watch out for that one. Here's a back cleave. This, this dragon threw a fireball over here. And this dragon over here is probably going to drop some stuff. Okay. Also, we have this ice boulder over here. The ice boulder is going to... Okay, so the dragons in the air are dropping AoEs. And then we also have this ice boulder that's dropping little sprites out of it. So we need to attack the ice boulders so that we don't get extra ads. Okay. And then there's one over here too. This one. This one. Big AOE, watch out for that. Yeah, we got all these dragons to deal with. Also, the ice sprites, they make these AoEs, so we'll watch out for those. I think I moved my mouse out of the way so it keeps toggling this like item over here on my chat box. We're almost done you guys. Grab some loot over here in this corner. Okay, now let's go. Final boss here. Okay, I draw my card. I'm gonna pass my card and then we're gonna pull the boss. Okay, I wanna face the boss forward because that front cleave is gonna do some damage. I think I'll run into it later so you'll see how how it can hit stuff. Okay, Chaos Blast. <coughs> it's gonna, um, did you see that? Let's go back a little. Okay, front cleave, and then Chaos Blast, okay? There's a, there'll be a small little AoE that drops somewhere on the stage. The boss is gonna throw a thingy on it, and then that AoE is gonna create this this shape here. So you need to like get out of that as soon as you see it. Okay, and then we drop AoEs underneath us so we need to move. And then there was also that tank cleave. Okay. Now these... Okay, that was fine. Some of the AoEs will continuously drop things. So, okay, we have Comet. So... We got some AoEs here, but also two people are gonna get these green or orb things above their head. They need to bring it to the edge of the map. Okay, to the edge of the map, preferably south. Go south, okay? And at the same time, those big AoEs we had, a bunch of comets are gonna drop down onto them. So people with the green things need to run through and drop their baits, and then everyone else needs to, you know, watch out for the comets running. As soon as the baits are dropped, you can see this, it's gonna radiate out, that means they're, pro they're the proximity markers. So once you drop them, here or here or wherever, you need to run this way so you don't take as much damage. However, you need to be careful not to run into these comets, and then you also need to like 
stay kind of clear of the front of the boss because uh, I'm standing all the way up here just to show this but as soon as this hits okay the boss does this thing the front cleave and so if you're running all the way from south and then you and uh, you overshoot and run you're gonna get hit with this tank cleave up here I've done it before that's why I'm mentioning it now <laughs> Okay, so Chaos Blast, the thing we've seen before, he drops a thing here and then it does a crisscross whatever thing. So just dodge out of that. Okay, we get some AoE baits underneath us. Dodge that. Okay, we get another Comet here. So two people, okay, I have it. So I'm gonna avoid these AoEs around. I'm gonna run it south. It's okay if we're stacking like next to each other. It's fine. Like see, like, okay, yeah, I stand right next to him. It's fine. As long as you run out of it, you're okay. Okay, see? See, it goes kind of far, <clears throat> but we don't take as much damage as if you were just standing right here. So it's okay. Yeah, we took like 700 damage. That is here. It didn't, let's see. I accidentally tried to rescue him. Man, hang on, hang on, hang on. I was trying to give him my card. Okay, see. So we took 700, which is not that bad, but if you stayed inside that proximity, you would have gotten hit by a lot. Okay, so this marker. <coughs> is a little different it will drop a bomb and also aoe's here a comet okay and it will continuously drop so you have to watch out for that now going back after this proximity marker um the boss now has the right wing of injury um and the left wing of tragedy Okay, so you need to take down the boss here. Because the, the main boss is invin invincible. Invulnerable. So yeah, I tried to do a move on. So I keep going back to this same exact thing. There's a lot happening here. Okay, so invincibility, you see that? There's this one. Oh my goodness. One more time, one more time. This is where all the excitement is at the very end here. Okay, did you see that invincibility? So you can't attack the main boss. You have to attack the wings. And then at the same time, one person has this marker and they go take it to a corner because the comet dropped like twice. And it's gonna rotate who gets that stuff. So Alphana has it here. Okay, so he runs to the side and, and then comes back. He drops it outside. Now watch. As I have it and I stand in the middle and I drop it and then everyone gets hit. And so I was a little too late for that. Didn't seem like we took that much damage though, honestly. But that's not good habits, <laughs> okay? Like, try your best to not bring it directly into the middle of the party. Let's see how much damage we do. I, I, well, I did a heal. The reason I went in was because I was trying to heal everyone. So maybe that's why they didn't seem like they took that much damage, but yeah. Okay, now the main tank, I think she gets it too. And so she brings it outside, okay? And then she comes back, avoiding those extra ones. Um, let's go back, let's go back a little. Okay, so during this time we're all at, we're attacking the wings. Okay, we already took care of the left ones, and we're just focusing on the right wing. Just go 400 damage too. So now I'm gonna go back. Actually, I'm gonna go back. I wanna see how much damage you take from the comet because I didn't. Um, I didn't move it out of the way fast enough. Let's see. Heaven's Fall, I took like a thousand something. Oh, it doesn't look like. Uh, there's some numbers here. I think my my heal uh, compensated for that, 
so it's fine. Um, but yeah, anyway, so the comments go out, and then and then we take care of the wings, and then once the wings are fine, then there. Do you see that? Invincibility goes away. Damage up also goes away. So now we can attack the boss again. I put my dot on it. Thou shall front cleave. Um, Alphana did his limit break. Okay, this little thing, Chaos Blast. So that means the crisscross AoE line thing is going out, so dodge that. Okay, we bait the AoEs out and step out of them. There was another tank cleave there. Okay, Comet. We're gonna have to bait the little green thingies now. Oh, all three of us have it. Yeah, so we bring it to the side and watch out for these these AoEs where comments are dropping. So we bait the proximity markers out here, and then and then we run towards the, across the stage. Like I overshoot it, I overshoot it, and I'm kind of just waiting for it. There, see, I get hit with it too. So I got like almost three thousand. That's why you don't want to overshoot. Okay. But also, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the fight. We did it. I think earlier in this YouTube channel experience, running with the NPCs was fine because there was a lot more to talk about in the dungeons, but if you've gotten this far in the story, I'm sure you already know a lot of things, you know, so I don't have to explain too many things and so that's why I feel like going with the NPCs is going to be a little slower. Um, but we'll see. I think for the next one I'll run it as a tank and we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. I hope that was helpful, and I hope you're liking Heaven's Word. Goodbye.